So I'm going to show y'all how I do my makeup in this summer heat, y'all. It is so hot out. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. This dewy, easy, comfortable summer makeup. If y'all like my hair, this is the first time that I've tried uh, faux dreads, faux locks, goddess locks. I mean, it's more curly than locks, but you know, <laughs> it just kind of turned out this way. But yeah, I'm feeling it. Let me know what y'all think about this. Even the color is like out of my comfort zone. I usually just go for like black hair, but I'm really feeling this color as well. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. And so with it being so hot, you need to moisturize your skin and you need SPF. Okay, so keep your skin hydrated. I am going in with the Glam Glow, the Glam Glow Moisturizer, obviously. It's like my fave. And then you also want to be, to make sure you have SPF. So I don't know if I have a moisturizer that has SPF. If you don't, you can just use like a regular sunscreen so oh this smells so good mixed in with the glam glow but yeah skincare comes first make sure you're moisturized make sure you have a sunscreen or a moisturizer with a sunscreen or a foundation with the sunscreen just make sure you have sunscreen because that's like the very first thing and it's so hot out that you're crazy if you go for a matte look because sis, you're just gonna sweat it out anyway. So we are going for a very dewy look. Okay, so going in with foundation, we are going with a dewy foundation. Even though this foundation is full coverage, I am just going to use enough to basically get my skin like even i'm not going for a full coverage look we are not going in with none of that so we're just literally going to use one pump okay why do i feel like i'm so washed out hold on i feel like that's better i felt so washed out okay so now we are going to take a brush and we are just going to put on our foundation like we usually do. And when I say we are just using this one pump, I mean we're just using this one pump. And you also want to go with a foundation that matches your face because if you're next say your face and your chest are two different shades like mine are i'm gonna go with one that ma matches my face because like if i'm touching my face or if i'm sweating then and my foundation runs off and my foundation's a completely different color than my uh face it's gonna look really bad but if it's like the same color then it won't look that bad literally one pump like we just don't want like parts of our skin to like if we touch it we don't want our actual skin tone to show through where the foundation is so you want to actually match to a T to your face and this Maybelline foundation this is 375 Java it does match my skin to a T my face Bring it down to the neck because my neck is lighter than my, my neck is darker than my face. Okay, so now that we have our foundation on using the brush, I'm going to go back in with a beauty sponge and I'm just going to go and I'm out of breath y'all, sorry. I just went to go dampen this beauty sponge. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. <sighs> okay, 
now that we've put on our foundation with a brush, we are going to go ahead and go in with the beauty sponge. And we're just going to go ahead and further make our foundation flawless. The reason I like to go back in with a damp beauty sponge is because it always makes my foundation literally look like a part of my skin. Like it doesn't look like a mask. And especially when you're going to be like outside or in the heat, you really want your foundation to look like it's just your skin. We don't want to sweat off like 20 pounds of makeup. Now we are just going to go in with a concealer. I'm not going to use like an actual concealer. I'm going to use this Neutrogena um, liquid makeup, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. And this does have SPF 20. And this is in the shade Chestnut. And I'm going to use this as a concealer because I really like the color of it as a concealer. So we are just going to take a brush and kind of just do that. I'm not going to go overboard. I didn't do my brows, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll do them in a minute. And then we'll just go ahead and blend that in. Okay, see how that still also looks like our skin, but like we still have the brightness that we would want. We are using an oldie but a goodie, and this is the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm just going to go right in, and I'm going to take off the excess. We don't want to bake, okay? Do not bake. So I'm just going to put that underneath. real fast so wait one moment the brows are super simple super natural not like overly done or anything so next I'm just going to go ahead and contour so Okay, let's do mascara real fast. Okay, so let's do lashes and move on to the next. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, I'm just going to go ahead and just do like the slightest of shadows. So we are going into this Fury of the Oven Game of Cones eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery and I am just going to go into poppy seed and it matches my shirt it's like a greenish grayish type color so we're going to do that and I'm just going to go in with my finger and I'm just going to pop that onto the onto the lid Like that's literally the only color we are doing. It's just a little pop of color, like nothing too much. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh. That's really cute, I like it. Okay, so 
my waterline just feels so bare so we're just going to go ahead and go in with a black liner okay so we're just gonna go with this black wet and wild uh pencil and i love these these are so smooth they go on so they just literally glide on and they're only 99 cents at the drugstore Okay, we're gonna do like a tiny tiny wing and that's using the beauty bakery lollipop liner here's that i suck at wings like i'm not <laughs> i'm not the best winged liner person But this pen liner does make it a whole lot easier. We are just going to go into this uh, CoverGirl True Blend pressed powder in the shade 6. So I'm using that to set under my eyes as well. Just for the extra brightness. gonna take to warm up our face okay so I'm taking this Milani earth glow foundation press powder in the shade earth 5 earth glow and I'm just gonna use it to subtly just like subtly that's like the shade it is just subtly like that's a foundation but it literally has that red undertone to it if I just put it on my cheeks it's a pressed powder but if I just put it on my cheeks then it does warm it up And we don't want to do like a really bold lipstick because it is hot out and we don't have time for that. So a nice gloss and liner does the trick every single time. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with a brown liner. It's from Wet n Wild and then I'm just going to apply a glossy lip gloss. This lip gloss is from Bow Beauty and it is called knockout what is it called it just says lip gloss it's drugstore it's from i got it from was it cvs i got it from walgreens so it's from walgreens and yeah this is like the shiniest glossiest lip gloss i have And then we are just going to do it up with, again, going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Water. Just to make it like more skin-like, we're gonna go ahead and spray that down. So the main takeaway for summer makeup that looks and feels like your skin is first and foremost use an SPF protect your skin it doesn't matter what skin tone you are what type of skin you think you have or oh my skin won't get burnt or this no the Sun does not discriminate use an SPF second keep it simple like you don't have to go all out with your foundation you saw that I only used one pump of a of a dewy foundation so I would not recommend 
a matte look in the summer heat i mean if you enjoy that do you i love matte looks like i love them but i found that in the summer heat it just doesn't it doesn't work so i'm going for more of a dewy look i feel like dewy looks in the summer go best together because if you're sweating or if it's hot then your matte makeup is not just like melting you know what i'm saying anyway just keep it simple keep it dewy and use an spf that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you can take something away from it if you did don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video also hit the notification bell so you are notified every time that i upload and i'll see y'all next time bye y'all oh here's the setting powder anyway Bye y'all. Where did I go hard? I do it for my dog. Double M, like I'm signed to the Maybach. It's the militia chasing after them digits. I'm tripping. My mind gone is missing. Time.